You are welcome to Remit Trade Academy. My name is Paradise, and I will bring you this cryptocurrency video right here on the BTC USD one week chart. We've seen the market move to the upside, and on the one day chart, we are seeing the market, you know, reducing momentum around this area. And on the four hour chart, the same thing markets could, you know, like they come back down into the zone, and on the ETH. We are seeing divergence right here and on the four hour chart as well. I'm going to show you something very important. So watch this video to the end. If you are new to this channel, Remy Trade, please help subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more updates like this every single day. Also check the channel for all the educational content. Leave a like and don't forget to share this video. On the one week chart right here, I talked to you guys about this divergence. And I said it's going to take weeks and months for this to to play out. And if you take this trade either on this very small candle or this very one, you should be in profit. But one thing very, very important you need to take note of is this level of resistance at this very area. You see this level of resistance that is almost at this 25k dollars market is going to find a resistance at this very area. That means there will be a difficulty of markets passing through this very level of resistance right and not only that remember next week that is on the 1st of february we are going to have the fed interest rate decision which is going to impact on the market as well and this is what i am paying attention to right now so what you need to do is if you take any trade within this area of 17 18 000 dollars please you have to collect half profit right now where the market is right now because we are going to see a little bit of drawdown before the next continuation in the market so this is the update on the one week chart on the one day chart btc usdt if you look at it like i said when you are using the macd always pay attention to two things the macd histogram and the macd signal line and the macd line when this MACD signal line and the MACD line comes together, it means that the market is about to take a U-turn to the opposite direction. Not only that, if you look at the MACD histogram and there is a reduction in momentum just like here, it's not very, very significant, but there is a slight reduction in momentum if you look at it from here to the downside. This is also an indication that market is going to drop right now. Now, if you look at this very area, of the MACD signal line and the MACD line, you discover that even though the MACD signal line and the MACD line have not actually crossed over each other at this very point, there is an indication, there is a pointer that the market is going to still turn. Not only that, if you look at the price action around this area, we are seeing a reduction in the bulls moving to the upside in as much as markets move here and they will have retracement and then markets go back creating a new high but on the MACD histogram there was no new high created instead we see the markets you know draw back to the downside so these are pointers and indication that the market is going to you know move back to the downside it is not always very very accurate for you to say this is a time market is going to go down but that is why you need to set your stop loss in such a way that even though markets go up a little bit against you you still have room for your trade to breach before the market will actually go in in that very particular direction so what i am expecting as a result of what we are seeing on the chart or the price action is the market to come back you know to the downside let's see retracement in the market before the next continuation just like we see here very little so on the four hour charts if you look at the four hour chart it's very significant that we have a field swing market move from this very area to the upside and then we see retracement market move again um, this very move and then market fail to create a new high high than the previous high at this very area that is an indication that the bulls are getting tired of moving the market to the upside that means the bs are going to take charge and move the market to the downside i am expecting this market to come back down into this level of resistance at this very point so between this place where i have this very rectangle is where i am expecting this market to you know come back down into for a nice retracement before you know continuation to the upside on the one day chart eth if you look at the one day chart eth the market is already at a very strong resistance at this very point we have a very strong resistance right at this very area and this resistance is almost the same thing as what we are seeing right at this point so this resistance 
is very very important market is going to head back down and from what we are seeing right here on the MACD there is a reduction momentum to the downside when we were seeing the market moving up right on the chart so market move up create a new high but on the MACD markets move slightly to the downside this is an indication that momentum is reducing from the upside that is the bulls are losing momentum and the bears is going to you know take control for a few days before the market is going to continue to the upside again because people that buy at this very area must collect profit when the market gets into key resistance level for the market to retrace giving them another you know good buy opportunity for the market to move up again what i am paying attention to right now is the market coming back down if you look at the MACD signal line and the MACD line you see that they are gradually coming together at this very point they are gradually coming together a crossover will further you know amplify the prediction that market is going to you know move slightly to the downside and on the four hour chart here you see the market have been in this area for a long time what you need to pay attention to right now is a breakout on this support level so a breakout on this support level right where the market was rejecting from it means that the market is going to fall sharply to the downside to this very area um, not only that the reason why i also take a trade and i give that signal on the vip signal group right here i see features yesterday and i give this short position between 16 19 to uh, 16 30 entry point and the target is this very area which is what we have at this very region of support so this support level a breakout here is going to make the market to come back into this level of support and this very area right here because this very area we experience the market moves sharply to the upside so if markets come back into this very zone we're going to see a likely movement to the upside from this very region of support so this is what i am paying attention to on the eth usdt 4 r chart if you look at this trade right here since this today we've been in this position but the market has not actually moved in that very predicted direction but i believe market is going to you know still move to the downside so this is what you need to pay attention to on the chart eth and btc right now what do you think about the market on the one day chart btc do you think the market is going to move down to this level of resistance which you turn supports at this very point comment below in the comment section of this video if you are new to this channel help subscribe to the channel hit that like button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more updates like this every single day also check the channel for other educational content and we are organizing a free cryptocurrency trading course this week saturday and you check the description of this video and join the group for that very free trading and learn how to do simple technical analysis for profitable trading also we have an offline trading section this coming sunday for those of you that live in port harcourt you know find a way to remit trade office in port harcourt and be part of that very training thank you very much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next video